vacuum specific uh, cell wall material. So it eats that. So the function of the enzyme is to break big molecules into small pieces. So I started working on leprosy with Pat Brennan in my early years. And I'm a chemist by training. I was very far from infectious disease. And then I switched to TB about, um, about 15 years, 15, 20 years ago. You can run all of them. It's a problem mainly because there are so many people exposed because uh, in the resource uh, restricted uh, areas like India, China, Pakistan, you name it, Asia, all over, uh, people are exposed continuously because you know there are people who have active TB and there are normal people who are exposed. I am exposed, everybody else is exposed because we come from India. And so we harbor a form of TB for a long time till our resistance get low and one might develop. So this, there is no really diagnosis people who are harboring or who are really normal. We need something to diagnose early when people are exposed so that the bacteria hasn't gone into this latent stage. I actually was involved in describing a molecule it's got a very unique structure. It's very specific to TB. So this molecule was basic research. I just described the chemistry of it. It's been implicated in the pathogenesis of the bacilli. Because it's actively circulating, this particular molecule can be developed for diagnosis. And that's where I'm focusing. We want to make diagnostics based on those, which are really from the TB bug. So it's, it's, a, it's a very crucial step. We are going to make that chemically, and we'll make a chemical probe to detect, which will be more sensitive, and it will have more control. And these probes can be built on very small slides or paper strips, so it will be very easy. It's almost my concept of diagnosis is how you detect diabetes. Just dip and it will tell you positive or negative. That's the way to go into the resource limited areas. A person, a clinician doesn't have to go. A person can go out, take these strips, dip it in urine and say positive. It's, it kind of equates a pregnancy test or a diabetes test. Plus or minus, that's all I want to say. So that's my goal, that's my dream. It's building towards developing diagnostics, which means if you are diagnosed early enough, then you can cure TB in the long run. Actually, my father had, uh, when he was um, young, he was fighting for the independence in 1947. And he told me that he was diagnosed with uh, tuberculosis too. So it's kind of um, personal. Do you feel personally responsible that you can contribute towards developing something? Either, you know, as a scientist, this is your responsibility.